Hey everyone, and welcome to our warehouse management video training, session number one, Resolve WMS General Overview. Managing a successful warehouse operation is about accuracy and speed, and Resolve WMS gives you both, the freedom to move about, as well as the ability to keep track of everything, everywhere. The warehouse management modules of Resolve provide organizations utilizing SAP Business One further reach and functionality throughout all processes within their warehouse. Uh, utilizing standard SAP core WMS functionalities such as picking, receiving, cycle counting, productions, inventory adjustments are complemented with advanced resolve features such as packing, directed putaways, bin replenishing, license plates, cross stocking, and, and much, much more. So just to go over some of the core features and functionalities of the Resolve WMS product, we've got the native use of SAP Business One data, so you're not going to be worrying about storing uh, information in outside databases or other tables or things like that. So we use all the SAP's uh, business partners uh, for sales and for purchasing, um, their items, warehousing, uh, bin information, units of measure, and, and all those sorts of uh, integrated native SAP functionality is all utilized within Resolve WMS. Um, as far as our picking features go, uh, we have several different document types that you are able to do picks for uh, utilizing the SAP Pick and Pack Manager. We've got the sales order document, the AR reserve invoices, we've got the uh, ITRs, inventory transfer requests, uh, you can predict, pick uh, production orders, and then we have some other additional uh, resolve screens that are not native to SAP to enhance your picking, such as our wave picking screen. As far as inventory transactions go, we have the standard SAP transfers uh, you can do from bin to bin uh, or warehouse to warehouse. We also have a bulk bin transfer function, which is uh, only for Resolve, which allows you to basically transfer the contents of an entire bin to another entire bin without having to capture serials, batches, anything like that. It just basically picks up every item in one bin and moves it to another. Um, and then we also have our standard uh, goods issues and uh, goods receipts, you know, basic SAP uh, functions. With receiving, we have uh, the ability to receive purchase orders, uh, AP reserve invoices, as well as doing a standalone GRPO right on uh, the mobile screen without having to have a, a base PO if you don't have one. So uh, an items, a truck, something comes into the warehouse, you don't have the PO number for it, there is no PO number for it, you can just uh, make that uh, GRPO right on the mobile uh, without having to make a PO first or, or find the PO if, if you're having trouble finding it. So uh, that's one of the, the, the functions we have there. Uh, our production module in mobile uh, allows for production picking, which we, we spoke about earlier. We also have the ability to do uh, disassembly, um, do production receipts. And these two features that are special just for Resolve, this direct issue and request materials, these let you um, do certain functions on the mobile without having to go back inside of SAP. So if you wanted to issue out just a certain component or you wanted to request materials to be added onto the production order, uh, you could do that without having to uh, go back into the SAP screens and, and, and work inside the production order there. You could do it directly from, from our mobile. We've got several different counting options, a bin count, which lets you just go up and, and basically scan a bin and then scan everything in it. And that'll create the SAP inventory posting document right then and there. And then we've got more of our kind of two-step processes, their physical count, our cycle count, and our inventory counting document. Um, physical count is pretty explanatory. You do that once a year. Cycle count, we have the ability to cycle count by bin or by item which can be pretty helpful if you want someone to go out and just count all the items and it'll tell you uh, where that item is located in the, throughout the warehouse and go count the item in those bins. Uh, inventory counting document allows you to make uh, an actual SAP inventory counting document and then pull it up inside of a uh, mobile and then you can count right then and there. So if you want to have a pre-set up 
pick lists or count list, if you will, for your warehouse workers, you could do that. Then they can go to the mobile, pull up that document and count what you've asked them to count. Uh, warehouse movements, we have, these are all pretty much special just for Resolve. These aren't native to, to SAP. We have bin replenishment, which allows based on the SAP min and max of your bins, uh, can suggest that you have stock in an overstock area. It needs to be brought down into the picking area because you're falling uh, below the minimum you'd like to keep in that bin. Directed put away allows you to receive all your items to a receiving bin. And then based on different rules that we have in our WMS configuration, it will suggest where those items should be put away, either based on you know item specific bins that you have, or if you have a bin that's below minimum or, or something like that, it will suggest to the users to go ahead and put the items away in these specific areas instead of having to figure out where this item goes, where is there room for it. Uh, cross docking uh, works a little bit similar to that. Uh, when you do receive your items in, you may have some sales orders or documents that are ready to be delivered and go out right away. Instead of the items being put back in their bin location to then just be picked 30 minutes later, uh, we have the screen that, that will suggest all these items need to be moved to your cross dock location, which may just be a few feet from the receiving bin. And that way the, the pickers will know, hey, this stuff is right here, right by the warehouse. It didn't have to go away. It's only got one touch on it instead of two touches, putting it away and then someone basically picking it and bringing it back to the, to the, the dock. So that's kind of a, a one-step instead of a two-step process there. And then as far as license plates go, uh, the ability to combine multiple items, bins, and serial numbers into one unified license plate number. And then that license plate number can be used throughout the mobile uh, functions to basically do transfers. Uh, you can pick a license plate, and that way, instead of having to scan you know, 30 batches or 30 serial numbers or 15, 20 different item UPCs, that license plate represents every single item that you've added to it. So you can move the license plates around the warehouse with ease and, and save some of your warehouse workers time. And then we also have just some additional functionality uh, for Resolve Mobile WMS. Uh, RMAs utilize the SAP return request and AP return request documents. So that's just standard SAP. Our operational transaction center is a, a, a module that we have inside of standard SAP Resolve, but we have added it to our mobile Resolve so that our users who are working around the warehouse can see the same uh, data, things like sales orders per customer and quotes per customer and, and WMS information, shipping information, vendor information, POs by vendor, by item. It just gives you a lot of data right at the uh, tip of your fingers so that you can you know, sift through it and, and find what you need without having to go back to the SAP desktop. We also have similarly some warehouse analytics, some dashboards and some reports such as bin velocity, item velocity, you know, seeing what items are being touched most, what bins are being touched most to help you organize your warehouse in, in, in a more efficient manner so that you're not going as far to get one of your most popular items. Maybe as you start researching, you say, hey, we pick this item a lot and it's all the way in bin Z. Let's move it to bin A so that we're saving trips back and forth. And then as far as mobile printing goes, we have the ability to, to print item labels. You can print license plate labels, packing labels as you're done picking. So there's all types of different things you can print. Uh, directly from the mobile device instead of having to go back back to a desktop there. So overall, Resolve WMS is a fully integrated web-based app designed to optimize freight, shipping, and all your warehouse operations. It gives quality a boost with instant access to real-time SAP Business One data so you're always in the know when managing your distribution and logistics, even on the go.